Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. So this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to retrieve pick list value from the Salesforce. And it's a very most important. If you are new in this channel, so please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to open your Salesforce app. So I already opened this Salesforce app, right? And if you want to export any kind of you know like pick list value so you can use any object from the salesforce as well right so how to do that let me show you here so under the object manager just click on this object manager and uh, here you can see lots of objects right based on the your org size so this is a object manager and i want to export lead data or account data or you know like account under the account we have like fields and relationship and we have rating active pick list value right so let's say rating so once you search here rating just click on this rating and we have three types of value in this pick list if you have like lots of value so you can use it so here you can see by default three values right but come to the another object so let me open the lead object here just search lead and click on this lead and open fields and relationship and just search here industry right so just search industry and you will be see lots of value of this pick list right so almost like 33 here you can see this one right so how to export this pick list value or this field value in, inside excel or you know like csv file so first of all you have to open workbench in salesforce so you have to search workbench and just click on this workbench and just agree this i agree to the term of the services and just click on this login with salesforce and once you logged in just click on this query tab and this is the sql query just click on this sql query and just select this third option that is called bulk csv so once you select it now you have to choose your object this is the manual efforts right but i i already created this query just use it and just export this query inside your salesforce so how to do that let me show you here so this is the query like select label from pick list value info so this is the metadata right we are in entity particle dot entity definition dot qualified api name and you have to give your object name or field name here so this is two things required inside this sql just copy this one paste it into your you know like workbench here and select the object so let me change this one here so i'm using lead object that's why i'm writing here just remove this one and uh, I'm using industry field value, right? Industry. So let me take this industry here and click this query button. And once you clicked on this query button, you will be see some processing behind the scene. And after that, you can see 33 records. Means we have 33 records inside this pick list value, right? This field that is called industry field have 33 value inside this, you know, pick list, right? that's why you can see the records completed status and process so this is the id batch id just click on this download options once you click on this download option now you can see this csv file is already downloaded in my local machine just click on this file and you will be see here 33 values inside this pick list so once you select it instead of this label just select all the values here and in the bottom you can see like 33 here means its total values comes under this files so this is the way to export or you know like retrieve pick list value from the salesforce or any kind of object like custom or standard object it doesn't matter like every time it's uh, useful for the standard object you can use any kind of object like custom and you know like standard so this is the way so guys i hope you learned something new in this you know like video if you like this video please like share comments and please subscribe the channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys